Welcome to day eight of the 12 DIYs of Christmas. Day eight means we've already done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you want to check out some of the best, just click up here and you will be able to binge through all of those. My name is Amanda Arneal. I teach hand lettering and art tutorials here on YouTube and also full length in-depth courses on my website. You can find those right here. And today, let's dive in to today's 10 minute tutorial, which doesn't mean 10 minutes to teach you. It means 10 minutes for you to actually get it done. And I don't know about you, but those are the types of projects that I like to do. But even though it only takes 10 minutes, it has a huge, huge wow factor. You are going to need a shadow box. An eight by eight would be perfect because then you can use one piece of black cardstock, eight and a half by 11, and a piece of white, of course, smooth paper, like the Xerox Bold Digital High Performance Printing Paper. That's what I'll be using. It's a really nice smooth paper and also really great for the pocketbook. You can get a huge stack for not that much. You're going to need your favorite lettering pen. I'm going to use the Tombow Feud Hard Nib and a white jelly roll just for some extra accents. If you don't have that one, that's totally okay. Two last things, tape and scissors or an X-Acto knife. Easy. I'm sure you have most of these already kicking around the house, except maybe the shadow box. But being able to buy a pack of three means that these are going to make a great teacher gift or a gift for your neighbor or even a cute stocking stuffer, though I don't know, we don't actually do stockings in our family. We have humongous bags instead because sometimes some of those really fun cheap gifts end up being slightly larger than what you can get into a stocking. So let's jump in. One shadow box, you're going to want to open it up and take the back out of the shadow box. They have a few different pieces. There's the backing piece. This is what you're going to stick your white paper to eventually. There's an insert piece, and this is what separates your glass from your backing. And then you have the glass, and this is just one from Michaels. It's really nice that this is glass instead of plastic. So if you're really into getting actual glass inside your frames, this Michaels three pack is hands down the way to go. Now we are going to need to use the backing in order to make sure that we are cutting our pieces of paper to the right size. So for your first piece, your black, you're just going to lay your backing so that it's lined up with two of the sides of your black paper, trace the other two either with a pencil or with a white pen if you have it, and then cut that out. Your edge does not have to be perfect because a lot of that is going to be hidden behind this inset portion right here. So just cut it quickly. Remember, we're trying to do this in 10 minutes. All right, that was our first step. Now we're going to cut a star out of this. And you might think, oh, I'm not very good at drawing stars, but everyone knows how to draw a simple five pointed star. And that's all we're going to do. About an inch and a half in from each side, do a dot with your white pen following how you would draw a five pointed star. You want to just make sure you don't get too close to the edge and that will give you a guideline. Now you're going to connect those points and you don't have to draw a full line, just connect them very lightly because this is going to give you a guideline for where to cut. And finally, I'm sure you know the next step, is to cut it. Cut your triangle out and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're not even going to keep it oriented like this. We're going to turn it so that it looks like it's a little bit sideways because our lettering is also gonna be a little bit sideways and all together it looks Perfect. To get into your shape, give it a slice in the middle and then go in and cut out each of the legs of your star. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it a little bit larger if you would like. Just make sure you're cutting off all of the white so that you can't see that anywhere. Once you have your star cut out, it's time to trace this onto your white paper. Line it up in the same way you did with the black. Give yourself some quick guidelines and cut this one out as well. Of course, if you have a paper cutter, this is gonna take you like 0 0.03 seconds, but world's tiniest scissor, here we go. And now it's time to letter. You're going to pick up your lettering pen and write in there some of your favorite Christmas words. You could repeat over and over like Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. You could go through all of those or I'm going to write Oh Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining because then it is linked to the star that's cut out. The easiest way to make your piece look great and not have to worry about it being perfectly straight is to not have any of it be perfectly straight. Instead, you're going to write from the corner at an angle 
all the way through your piece. Do try to write with the same size the whole time, but don't worry about everything being completely perfect. A lot of it you won't see, you'll only see certain parts. So if there's a wiggle or a wobble there, don't even worry about it. So now you have your lettering all done. You are going to, we're getting real fancy here, tape that to the back piece here, or you can always use glue dots to affix it right onto that chipboard. I'm using tape and because we have this little inset bit anyways, that's going to go right around the edge. If you just put a little bit of tape on the edge, you won't even see it. Put that in a few places just to hold your piece inside your frame. And now we have one final step to do on the star. So decide which side of your star you would like to use. And even you can decide the orientation as well right away. So flip it over, turn it around, see which way you think will look best. And then you can take your white jelly roll marker and just go around with a stitching sort of line to give it a little bit of detail. Start up in one of your corners, go around that corner, follow all the way down into this point and even make a tiny L inside the point if at all possible. That helps to really make these stitches look like you're stitching together one big piece to be part of a whole. So consider making those little curved lines look like they're actually going around a corner. Do this all the way around your star, trying to keep your distance between the stitching line and the cut star itself consistent all the way around. If you need to turn your star as you're doing this, just turn that star around so that it's as easy as possible for you to keep that distance and also go in a nice straight line. All right, those stitching lines give it a little bit of pop. Once it's dry, actually it doesn't really even matter because it's going to sit in front of your glass. So take your glass out and let's start to put our shadow box sandwich back together. First, place in your star. Next, place in your glass carefully. Then place in your spacer frame. And finally, place in your lettering. Close all of your layers up and you have your perfect, cute, lettered shadow box right there where you can see your words peeking through. But this is why you didn't have to worry about your lettering being perfect. It's just about the essence of the song. It's about the essence of what you're trying to say behind your shadow box. With the little white detail, it helps to tie the whole thing together. And I have one more final thing that I want to show you that you can add if you want, and that is a string of lights. The black space sort of provides us a perfect place to hide some twinkle lights. So I just got this tiny little set from the dollar store. It only has 20 twinkle lights in it, but they're those really tiny, tiny little lights with quite a long cord so that the lights can go around the edge and the battery pack can still sit outside so it can be turned on and off throughout the day. I know my kids are gonna be turning it on and off a lot. Of course, this step is totally not necessary, but since I'm the type of person who never thinks that I have enough Christmas lights up, this is happening. You can take your Christmas lights and with the tape, you're just gonna tape them around to this inner frame so that they add a little bit of glow to your beautiful writing. If you get the type that are on a wire, you'll be able to bend it so that it follows along the frame and just toss a little piece of tape in there to stick it to the frame. Once you have that all taped in there around the edge, make sure that your battery pack is escaping out of one of the corners and you're going to trim that same corner of your chipboard. That was actually easier than I thought. And then place your design in there. That way you can have that wire escaping without any of the wire getting pinched off. And we don't want any sort of electrical or fire hazards happening here. Close up the back and voila. 
You have a lit shadow box, star themed, lights inside, star writing inside, and it only took like, right, 10 minutes? I feel like that was about 10 minutes. And again, it's super easy, but has such a punch. Think of this as a great gift item for, again, a neighbor, a teacher, a friend, a mom or dad. Well, mostly probably a mom. I don't know how much my dad would love this. Maybe if it was like a car cutout. But think about how you can incorporate this into your gift giving this season because not only is it quick and easy, it's handmade and handmade with love. And what is a better gift than something that you have made with your own hands? It means so much more. And also if you bought the three pack, you've got some more to make. So. So definitely think of who you can gift these to. That was day eight of our 12 DIYs of Christmas. There are more coming at you, so make sure that you subscribe. And if you missed any of them, you can check them out right here to make sure that you have all of the Christmas inspiration you need for this holiday season. I will see you again soon. Happy lettering.